G'day, Ben Kazinas here. Got these two motors, fresh out of China. Little uh, pocket bike motors, 50cc two strokes. My idea is to see if I can run them together. Let's see if they go first. Just got the throttle cable in, got a gas tank hooked up. Let's see if she'll run. So here's the piece to link the two engines together. Just plastic, hopefully it holds up. This is the piece out of the clutch off another motor. I'll use this one. That bolts onto there. There's actually a slot for a keyway in this shaft, but it never had a key. I guess the taper must be enough to hold it there. So that means I can time this however I like. This cavity here is supposed to slide over a cap screw, but this one here has a bolt. I made it to fit this one while I was waiting for these ones to arrive, so I'll have to swap that bolt over. Set one all the way up and one all the way down to starters, so they're opposing. I've bolted that plate up on there now. Just drill all the holes out to six and a half mil. Had to fiddle them a little bit to get it to fit. I was gonna 3D print another mount to go in here. To keep it more rigid but it's actually it's actually pretty rigid how it is so i might just leave it i 3d printed this little uh, fuel line splitter uh what i'd like to do what i figured out is the easiest way is you draw the side profile first and then extrude it round got some clear line that t put in there it's clamped down Looks like fuel's going in both sides, which is good. So I won't be able to rev it up yet because I haven't got the throttle cables synced up. So I'll be able to just start it and idle it and see if it runs. It'll be loud. The T's leaking. It's not working. I've cut these two cables down. So to join them together, I'm going to make a bit of a lever arm thing. Uh, I think I'll 3D print this. I'll just go draw it up. While that's printing, I've got to make the cool part, the expansion chambers, where all the power comes from. So I'll cut some little stainless flanges out of here, and I've drawn up. I've got the measurements off a expansion chamber calculator off the internet. Cut those out to go on there. Cut some pieces of pipe. And I'm just gonna make a cone to connect them. So I'll cut this out of this old stainless sink. Hopefully it's thick enough to weld. Okay, I banged these all around with a hammer and got them pretty close to shape. 
So what I'm gonna do now is just clamp together and tack it where it touches and keep beating around. There we go, these are welded off now. Uh, it was quite hard to weld them because they were only um, 0.9. This sheet metal here was only 0.9, that sink. And that there was a bit thicker though. So in case I didn't say, it's for the uh, jet unit I made in another video. There's also another 200 mil that's still got to go on the end of these, plus the 200 mil infeed. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this because I'm making a jet board. Maybe I'll have the motors further up the front. Makes it easier for the exhaust as well. Put them around there somewhere. Yeah. Just cut the did a heap of pie cuts on these little bits of pipe. Now I've just got to tack them all together to make the pipe come out of the motor. Okay, after hundreds of cuts, I'm pretty happy with how that is. I've got a lot of welding ahead of me now. Here it is together, but it did not work. It cracked apart. That's how it's supposed to work. Screw those bolts in and you can pull both cables at once. But it's all broken. All right, the exhaust are welded off and bolted on. It took ages, it was a mission. Looks cool though, got the twin throttles hooked up, I ended up using a piece of steel in here, I was trying to be all futuristic and use the plastic but it just broke, so when I pull that, both move the same and I can adjust the balance by tw twisting either one of these, almost ready for another test eh? I'm getting set up, almost ready to get started, it's shown my excitement by copying my favourite YouTuber, Colin Furs. That was great. Got a bit hectic, the clamp fell off, the exhaust pipe rattled loose, but she runs pretty good. Need to hook up an off switch, because these, I don't know if you can hook these together and have one off switch. I think they might interfere with each other. You probably have to have something that presses both, earths both out at the same time. The little plastic bush in here takes a beating. I first started up, only one of them was running, I don't think I had the plug on properly and it really chopped this out. Okay, so let's answer a few questions before they get asked. No, this is not cooling this motor properly. Actually, I can feel the difference by touching them. That one seems cooler, because the fan is only blowing across here. I could make the cowling longer, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make both of these water cooled. I'm gonna weld a jacket around this part on both motors. And you'll see on the jet pump, I left a little hole here. It didn't end up as a hole, as an oval, but that'll push water through them. Uh, I'm going to put a coupling in here, probably just get a Lovejoy one. Uh, it's got a clutch, I'll keep that on there so I can rev up a bit before it will take off. 
and more legit unit. I printed a little ramp, intake ramp in here. Haven't fixed it in yet. And yes, I know about lost PLA casting, so I might end up casting the impeller, but I don't know which, I don't know if this impeller is the right for this motor. So I'll print a few and figure out which one's the best. I printed a couple more nozzles. I can try different nozzles to get it to work better. I'm gonna make, start making the surfboard at some stage too. I'm just gonna make it out of aluminium. The reason I like to use these motors because look how low they are. So I could probably get away with making the board 160 mil thick, which is not very thick. If anybody's got some good board designs, send them to me on my uh, Facebook Messenger. Also the expansion chamber calculator. I just copied another guy's one because it was exactly the same for these type of motors. I didn't actually work it out myself, so you can watch his video, I'll leave a link to it. Alright guys, that's enough babbling on. Thanks for watching, see you next time.